97.5 WQBE Charleston, USA. Not guilty. I'm Joe Chiro, Fox News. That's a plea from the parents of accused teen school shooter Ethan Crumbly at their arraignment today in Michigan as they face manslaughter charges. Fox's Steve Harrigan reports. $500,000 in bond for each of them. The prosecutor said these two are clearly a flight risk. They were only apprehended after a manhunt. They were supposed to be arraigned on Friday, but were a no-show for that. They took $4,000 out of an ATM and made it to eastern Detroit where someone noticed their vehicle and tipped off police. Their son is accused of killing four students at Oxford High School this week and injuring seven other people. There are now confirmed cases of the Omicron variant of COVID-19 in about a dozen states. Fox's Jonathan Sari reports from Atlanta. Contact tracing is also going on here in Georgia. There was a Georgia resident who recently returned from travel to South Africa, stayed here two days and then went on to New Jersey. And that's where she developed moderate symptoms of COVID-19. Uh, they tested her there. She tested positive for the Omicron variant. Health officials still say the best protection against Omicron is full vaccination and a booster shot. President Biden and Russian President Putin will conduct a video meeting on Tuesday. Some of the focus expected to be the Russian troop buildup along the Ukrainian border that U.S. officials fear may be leading up to an invasion. The Trump era Remain in Mexico policy resumes Monday after a court forced the Biden administration to reinstate it. Border officials say it will help the situation some. And obviously tamp down the number of migrants going into the interior of the U.S. to await their cases. They are not so sure, however, that it will deter the hundreds of thousands of migrants that continue to make their way to the southern border and cross illegally. Fox's Casey Stegall. America is listening to Fox News.